Clinton campaign manager, Robbie Mook. Robbie, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Thanks, Jake. So let's start with uh, tomorrow's big debate. Donald Trump tweeted yesterday about Jennifer Flowers. I know you know who that is. You heard Kellyanne Conway uh, saying that uh, they, not have, they have not actually formally invited her. But I guess the bigger question is, in the mock debates, are you preparing for anything? Are you preparing for the Jennifer Flowers of the world to be invoked? Well, Jake, as, as you would appreciate, uh, nobody knows which Donald Trump is going to show up to this debate. And in fact, his erratic temperament has been a uh, subject of quite a bit of discussion in the debate. And I would argue it's why he's not fit and prepared to be president. But look, big picture, this debate is an opportunity for the American people to look at these two candidates and see which one of them is ready to be our next president and commander in chief. Uh, and I think the fact that Donald Trump is spending uh, the hours before this debate on, the, on, on this sort of thing is indicative of the kind of leader he would be and the kind of president he would be. And so I think it's, it's, a, it's a warning sign before the debate has even started uh, about Donald Trump's lack of fitness, his, his bullying tactics that make him unfit to be president. Former Obama advisor David Axelrod, uh, who wants Hillary Clinton to win, is concerned that if Hillary Clinton spends a lot of tomorrow night attacking Trump, that might not be enough for her to win the race. He told uh, the Washington Post, quote, if Trump finds a way to normalize himself, it can be a trap door. Going into this debate, do you think it's more important for Hillary Clinton to sell her own vision or to paint Donald Trump as a threat, which could, in doing so, feed into her issues with likability and trustworthiness and honesty, et cetera? Well, Jake, I'm really glad you asked this question because I, I think this is really the heart of the matter. Um, every time that Hillary has had an unfiltered opportunity to talk to the American people about not just what she's going to do uh, to make their lives better, the specific plans and policies that she has, but also how her entire life and this campaign is part of a mission to help kids and families, she's done better. And so we're really excited uh, to have that opportunity. And to your point, I'm very concerned that Donald Trump will be graded on, the cur on a curve. Um, just because he doesn't fly off the handle in the middle of this debate does not mean that he is prepared to be president of the United States. He needs to have uh, coherent answers to the questions. He needs to demonstrate a command of the issues, and he needs to roll out specific plans about how he's going to make life better for Americans. I was a little surprised to hear Kellyanne uh, imply that he has those plans. We haven't seen them. Uh, he has a secret plan to defeat ISIS. He won't tell anybody what it is. He says he knows more uh, about ISIS than the generals. Um, that's, not, uh, that's not a specific plan, uh, and that's not being transparent with the American people about what those plans are. So we hope that that will come out at this debate, and we absolutely want this to be an opportunity for Hillary to deliver her message directly so that people can understand she's fighting on their side. Does Secretary Clinton have anyone in her orbit who can be brutally honest and frank with her? I ask that because it seems like, based on a lot of the information we've gotten about her emails and the like, that she might not have people like that. And in debate prep, it would be very important for somebody to really be able to go after her to prepare her for a debate. And I don't know that she has anybody like that in her orbit. Well, she, she absolutely does, Jake. Um, I, anybody who's worked for uh, Secretary Clinton, first of all, knows that she surrounds herself with experts on every matter that she looks into. She just did a call uh, earlier this week after the events in New York uh, with her national security team. Uh, but she also likes a spirited debate and a spirited discussion. And uh, the people that she brings closest to her are the ones that challenge her thinking and push her. Uh, uh, this preparation process has been very rigorous. But again, uh, she released uh, plans, uh, I, I mentioned on ISIS, she released that 10 months ago. And it, that was the product of rigorous debate and discussion with experts. Uh, she's continuing to update that, as I said, as that situation evolves. That's who Hillary Clinton is. Donald Trump has not released specific plans. And unless he does that, and unless he tells the truth during this debate, unless, uh, unless he shows his ability to conduct himself without lying constantly, mm -hmm. he is not getting a passing grade on this debate, and he's not ready to be president of the United States. There was a document dump on Friday. We learned uh, from the FBI that an IT contractor managing Hillary Clinton's private email server made reference to the, quote, Hillary cover-up operation in a work ticket 
He used those words after a senior Clinton aide asked him to automatically delete emails after 60 days. This IT worker certainly sounded like he thought he was covering something up, no? Look, Jake, I, first of all, I'm actually glad you asked this question because a lot of this stuff is swirling around there uh, in the ether. Uh, it's important to pull back and look at the facts here. The FBI did a comprehensive and deep investigation into this, and at the conclusion of that, FBI Director Comey came out and said to the world uh, that there was no case here, that, there, that, that they did not have evidence of wrongdoing on uh, Hillary's part. So what's the Hillary uh, cover-up operation that the, the IT worker was referring to? Well, 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 but th but this is this is the perfect uh, example of what's going on here. Uh, the Republicans on in the House side uh, are selectively leaking documents for the purpose of making Hillary look bad. We have asked the FBI to release all information that they've shared with the Republicans so we can get the full picture. But again, I would trust the career professionals at the FBI and the Justice Department who looked into this matter, concluded there was no case, than I would Republicans who are selectively, uh, selectively leaking uh, information. I, I want to turn to the subject of immigration because it's a topic that's sure to come up tomorrow. It's a major part of the Trump campaign. I know you have a lot of criticism of Donald Trump's position. When it comes to Hillary Clinton, I have to ask about sanctuary cities, cities where they do not enforce federal immigration laws, and that sometimes means that people who are criminals who are in this country illegally end up getting free uh, and committing worse crimes. It just is a fact that that does happen. Does Hillary Clinton consider sanctuary cities to be a problem? Well, first of all, uh, Jake, as you mentioned, uh, we do think this is a really important difference between uh, both of the candidates. Um, and uh, Secretary Clinton has released a comprehensive plan uh, for immigration reform. This is something she has pledged to do uh, in the first 100 days. Uh, we cannot have a situation where anybody is coming to this country illegally and committing crimes. And uh, so uh, she has, as I said, put out plans to make sure that we are removing violent criminals from this country. But that is that can happen at the same time that we're not tearing families apart uh, and that we're making sure that hardworking people who have been here for a very long time come out of the shadows, come into the system, pay those back taxes, uh, become citizens, uh, and so actually our economy can continue to grow. I'm not clear, though. Are, does she want to end sanctuary cities or not? You said that people shouldn't be coming into this country illegally, but a Clinton campaign spokeswoman last year said, quote, Hillary Clinton believes that sanctuary cities can help further public safety, and she has defended those policies going back years. I, does she support sanctuary cities or not? Well, I, I think that's I think that's too narrow uh, a view of this situation. We need comprehensive immigration reform, and part of comprehensive immigration reform is making sure that law enforcement has the tools to find these violent criminals and get them out of the country, and that for people uh, who do not have legal status right now, that we put them on that path to citizenship. All right, I look forward to further clarity on the sanctuary city issue specifically. Robbie Mook, thank you so much. Good luck tomorrow night. Jake, thank you very much.